Coming up, our first ever robot double feature, unless we've done one before. Hi there, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. The 1950s was a golden age for sci-fi movies, many of them inventive pictures telling complex stories of our role in the universe. And many of them were so laughably cheap you can see the wire attached to the spaceships. One of the most memorable characters to come out of 50s sci-fi was neither human nor alien. He, it, was robotic, Robbie, Robbie the Robot. And in two days, on November 21st, you could introduce Robbie as part of your own family. He's one of the highlights of the Out of This World auction brought to you by Bonhams and TCM. So in connection with the auction, we've got two in a row featuring Robbie the Robot, Bob, to his closest friends. We start with the movie that introduced him, also one of the most important sci-fi movies of all time, from 1956, Forbidden Planet. The story is set in 2200. Leslie Nielsen stars as the commander of a space cruiser sent on a rescue mission to discover what happened to a colony on a distant planet. I know what you're thinking. Leslie Nielsen in a serious sci-fi drama? Surely you can't be serious. Well, I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. I've been working here better than 14 years now. You know, I used that same line back in 2014, but I thought, you know, three years, probably long enough to bring it back. Nielsen spent the latter part of his career reinventing himself as a wildly successful comedy actor in the Airplane and Naked Gun movies and on the short-lived but brilliant Police Squad on TV. Before that, Nielsen was a serious movie actor. Once Nielsen and his crew get to the Forbidden Planet, they discover there are only two survivors, an aging scientist played by Walter Pidgeon and the scientist's daughter, Anne Francis. There is also a third non-human survivor. That's Bob, a.k.a. Robbie the Robot. Today, big-budget science fiction movies are proven moneymakers, but in 1956, sci-fi movies were almost always low-budget projects until Forbidden Planet. It's often referred to as the first major studio sci-fi film with a budget of better than a million dollars. It ended up closer to two million, and a big chunk of that money went into creating Robbie the Robot. The film was a groundbreaker which profoundly influenced an entire generation of science fiction pioneers from Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry to George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Ridley Scott, and James Cameron. Here it is from 1956, Forbidden Planet. Today, big budget science fiction movies are commonplace, but during the 1950s, few in the movie business took the genre seriously until Forbidden Planet. No doubt the presence of Robbie the Robot helped. Robbie was designed by members of the MGM art department and constructed by the studio's prop team based on ideas and sketches by Forbidden Planet's production designer and art director. In the end, Robbie cost a bundle well over a million dollars in today's money. After production ended, MGM wasn't going to stick that expensive robot in a closet let him collect dust. The studio put Robbie to work again almost immediately, bringing him back to the screen the next year to play a major role in another sci-fi film, The Invisible Boy. And Robbie is such an indelible part of movie history now, he's front and center at this year's Out of This World auction, brought to you by Bonhams and TCM. The auction is this Tuesday, November 21st. Along with Robbie, you can also bid on items such as George Reeves' Superman costume and the raincoat Peter Falk wore as Columbo. To find out more, visit TCM.com slash Bonhams. And up next on TCM, we have Robbie the Robot in his second big screen appearance, so don't go away. Hi there, thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We just presented a landmark science fiction classic from MGM, Forbidden Planet, from 1956, one of Hollywood's first big-budget, full-color sci-fi features. It was MGM's first sci-fi film. A big chunk of the hefty budget went to create a single prop, a robot unlike anything moviegoers had seen before. His name was Robbie the Robot, and in two days, he could be yours. Robbie is headlining this year's auction, Out of This World. TCM has partnered with Bonhams on the auction. 
And up next, we've got a drama released the year after Forbidden Planet, a movie that brought Robbie to the screen a second time from 1957, The Invisible Boy. Despite that decidedly ordinary title, this is a thoughtful story. Ten-year-old Richard Iyer plays The Invisible Boy. For fans of classic cartoons, he's sort of a Johnny Quest-type character, the son of a famous scientist who's quick on the uptake himself. The boy's best friend is Robbie the Robot. As I mentioned, Robbie was introduced to moviegoers the year before in Forbidden Planet, which was produced by Nicholas Nafak, and Nafak was also the producer here. The script for The Invisible Boy was based on a short story by Edmund Cooper. However, as originally written, Cooper's story had no robot character in it. But Robbie the Robot was such a popular character and it cost a fortune to make and was just sitting in an MGM prop room collecting dust, so Nafak started talking to screenwriter Cyril Hume about incorporating the robot character into the Invisible Boy story, to which Hume responded, there is no robot character in this story. And that's when Nafak told him, in the best tradition of Hollywood producers, there is now. From 1957, also starring Philip Abbott and Diane Brewster, The Invisible Boy. The Invisible Boy is remembered best today as being the first movie in not one but two distinct science fiction subgenres. The first is the boy and the robot genre, and that became a mainstay of Japanese animation for decades. The second genre is the computer that wants to take over the world story. Computers were new concepts in 1957, but it wasn't much of a reach to think that if computers could control huge data banks, they could probably control us too. As for Robbie the Robot, he soon embarked on a career of his own, ultimately becoming a science fiction regular. He went on to appear in several other films and a number of TV shows as well, including The Twilight Zone, The Addams Family, and most famously, a continuing role in the classic series Lost in Space. And if you'd like to add Robbie to your family in two days, Tuesday, November 21st, you will have that chance. Robbie is one of the items up for bid in this year's auction, Out of This World, brought to you by TCM and Bonham's Auction House. You can also bid on Columbo's signature raincoat, George Reeves' Superman costume, and Joe Mankiewicz's director's chair from All About Eve, among many items. For more information, visit tcm.com slash bonhams. Coming up, two stories about sex, love, and marriage. One's a drama, one's a comedy. They're both coming up on this week's edition of Silent Sunday Night. and Bonhams present Out of This World. In Out of This World this year, we have some terrific property. A George Reeves Superman suit. We have property from the estate of Joe Mankiewicz. And we have property from the estate of Disney legend Harper Goff. Our marquee item is Robbie the Robot, the Metropolis Robot, R2-D2. And Robbie the Robot, those are the three greatest film robots. He is instantly recognizable, but there's also something sort of warm and friendly about him as well. I first saw Forbidden Planet, I think I was nine years old, and I remember when the flying saucer went overhead. What a vehicle, huh? Drive, I must be a madman. And Robbie the robot stepped out of his car, I was hooked. I said, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> Robbie was actually a lot bigger than I thought when I first saw him. I mean, he's about seven feet tall and he's very imposing. You don't really realize it till you actually see him in motion when he starts walking around. And it was amazing because it was like a Beatle concert. When Robbie came on the stage, everyone rushed up to the stage and started yelling. It was, it was amazing. Besides just Robbie, I'm also including the original head from the Twilight Zone and Robbie's original stage cases and Robbie's Jeep. I had to do a lot of soul searching. I love Robbie. I've owned him for more than half of my life. And it occurred to me that I really needed to find a place for him where he could be seen by the public. And I'm hoping that what comes out of this auction is that he'll be purchased by a museum who will put him on display where a lot of people can see him because I really can't have 10,000 people come to my house. So. <laughs> TCM and Bonhams present Out of This World, Tuesday, November 21st in New York City. Part of two new auctions, including vintage movie posters featuring the Ira Resnick collection on Monday, November 20th. And register now to bid and watch live at tcm.com slash bonhams.